Hello and welcome back to the program. Well, we're now joined by Todd Allen. He is the CEO and Artistic Director of the Northwest Florida Ballet in Fort Walton Beach. And he's going to talk to us about their program and then a lot of uh, programs that their performances, I should say, that they have coming to the Emerald Coast. Todd, thank you so much for, for coming back on the show. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You know, that time of year, and you guys do such a great job with uh, not just education here in Okaloosa County, but also with performances. So it, it's great to have you come back and, and get everybody excited. But uh, for those people out there watching that might not be very familiar with your organization, uh, tell us a little bit about the Northwest Florida Ballet and, and what you guys do. Okay, well, we are uh, now celebrating our 49th year wow. here in the community. Wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Quickly approaching to 50. And uh, our mission is to provide world-class ballet performances to our community, as well as world-class training mm -hmm. through our evening school, and also um, reach out through education through our NFB Academy, which is our free public school for dance. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the, the Academy of School starting back, you know, th this month. Uh, I know yeah. the kids are happy to hear that. Uh, what is the Academy? Is it, so is, it, is it like a regular school or how does that work? Yeah, so it's a public school run in collaboration between Northwest Florida Ballet and the Okaloosa County School District. We're actually, this is our 17th year oh, in wow. operation. We've been an A school since we started. It's a free school for dance for kids that want to prefer pursue dance as a profession. Mm -hmm. So grades three through eight, we have 142 students. And then we also have a high school program um, with about 25 students. And so these kids have uh, ballet every day. They study art, music, French, and they get all their academics. And we use downtown Fort Walton Beach as our campus. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, it, the lack of a better term, the PE class or the elective class, but it's uh -huh. there housed at your campus in downtown. That's right. It allows them to pursue um, their dancing mm -hmm. and also they receive the other artistic components too because for instance the language of classical ballet is French and so they study French twice a week. Mm. Most of our kids are chipping away at their high school credits in middle school for, for oh, wow. language and yeah it's a really amazing school and many of our kids have uh, are out there now in uh, university dance programs and dancing professionally. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, you said 49 years. 49 now years. Now you guys, you know, gearing up for next year. I know we're going to talk about this year, but uh -huh. uh, I'm sure there's a lot of anticipation for this year and going into next year being your 50th. Yeah, there really is. Uh, in 1969, Bernadette Clement Sims founded our ballet company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember being, I think, in the first Nutcracker that the company had. And uh, she really did a great job of sort of laying the groundwork. And my wife Sherry and I came in about 24 years ago, mm -hmm. can't believe it. <laughs> and uh, we built that building in downtown and we've sort of carried on where Bernadette left off. And uh, it's really just been an amazing, amazing journey and we're so happy to, to be able to serve our community here. Uh, you guys do a great job of serving the community and one of those other ways are the community classes that Correct. you guys offer uh, that start mm -hmm. this month. Tell me about those. That's right, so we offer a variety of classes, a variety of dance classes, as well as fencing, which is a really Ooh, awesome wow. thing that we added. <laughs> and uh, yoga, Pilates. So we, we offer training from, from kids who are age three through adult. And these classes are open to everyone in the community. And we also have a scholarship program. So for those families who are in need, they can apply mm -hmm. for financial aid. And they receive excellent training, uh, the same training that they get in the academy. That's fantastic. How do, they, how do people sign up for that? They just call uh, the ballet, sure. go to the website? Yeah, you can go to our website actually and register at okay. nfballet.org or you can call us at 664-7787. And also our academy classes uh, will be starting up. We've got academy and the evening school both starting in August. Mm -hmm. So uh, kids are getting ready for school out there the first day of school. I think the big shopping day, has it happened already? It's coming uh, out. I believe so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready. Get ready, everybody. Um, all right, so you guys have a lot going on right now mm -hmm. with the academy, with community classes, and then, of course, your season. It, Correct. It, uh, performances is coming up as well. Tell us about mm -hmm. that. So we are gearing up for our season, and our first uh, performance will be out at Grand Boulevard in San Destin. They'll be presenting our production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. That's music by Felix Mendelssohn and uh, choreography by Katya Garza. All of our performances feature international guest artists, professional dancers, and our um, students from the academy when we can use them. And so then we'll be in November. Um, we will be at the Maddie Kelly Arts Center with our Nutcracker, our mm. iconic production of the Nutcracker. 
featuring our own um, symphony orchestra, the Northwest Florida Ballet Symphony Orchestra, led by David Ott, our music director. Mm -hmm. Those performances are uh, November 16, 17, 18. And then um, we'll be bringing back Lightwire Theater's A Very Electric Christmas mm -hmm. to Destin again, the Destin United Methodist Church Life Center. It was such a big success last year. We had two sold out performances and we'll be bringing them back. And then finally, our final performance of our season will be at um, the NFB Studios in downtown Fort Walton Beach in our black box theater there. And it's called New Moves. So it'll be three new um, choreographies. And we'll also be having an art exhibit with uh, featuring local artists, so a variety of, of uh, visual art, sculptures, paintings, photographs. So it is going to be an exciting season. We have a few other outreach performances that we'll be doing. We'll mm -hmm. be doing a performance out in Seaside in October, right before this performance at Grand Boulevard. And we'll also be performing out in Grand Boulevard in June of 2019 in a mixed repertory performance. So a lot going on we'll between the classes on. and the, the season. So I encourage everybody to uh, go to nwfballet.org uh, to get more information and to purchase tickets. So, uh, just a lot to choose from when you go there. Todd, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll be in our Pensacola studios to talk about events in Escambia County. <laughs> 